Yo, what's good, you too? This is Jay from TNJ. And make sure you hit that like button. We're now here for our final non conference game going up against Tennessee. They are a one win team, three losses, but all three of their losses have come against OU, LSU, and Florida, all undefeated teams to start the season and all top 10. And look at their schedule. I mean, they play number one, two, three, five, eight, and seven. They might have the toughest schedule in the entire NCAA as they have actually a really good team. I mean, if they weren't in the conference that they're in, who knows how good this team would be. And they are led by Jared Guarantano, who is a senior, Ty Chandler. He's a senior, and he had a pretty good season last year. He's had back-to-back -back seven touchdown years. Not a thousand yard rusher, though. I'm pretty surprised at that, but I'm sure he'll get there this year in his senior year as they have a ton of weapons on offense. So here we go. We are starting out this game on defense. And, you know, our defense, it's its spotty. It's been spotty to start this year. But I want to see more pressure on the quarterback as they run the ball with Chandler to start out this game. And that's a gain of 11. So here's Guarantano here from the pistol formation. They love to run this pistol. They give it off to Tim Jordan. And that's a tackle for loss that time. Michael Cummings. So now third and 10, screen pass out to the right side. Here is Chandler avoiding a tackle from Isaac Tagia and picking up 12, and that's a first down. First and 10 at the 50-yard line. Here is Guarantano from the shotgun once again, throwing out to the right side. That's going to be a catch by Cedric Tillman, and that's a gain of eight. So they're moving the ball well on this drive. Another carry by Chandler this time. He's using a stiff arm and getting upfield, and that animation gets you so many yards. And that's a gain of 15. First and 10, another handoff up the middle. Here is Jordan from the pistol formation, a gain of 13, as we have not been able to stop that running game on this drive. So here's Guarantano on the speed option. To the left, he gets tripped up, and he's tackled at the goal line, but they have not had any trouble moving the ball as they give it back to Chandler on a first and goal, and he's going to get in untouched, and that drive seemed a little too easy and they take the 7-0 lead. So here's Drayvon Jennings, he's back. He got hurt in pretty much every game so far this year. And here he is starting out this game, giving the ball to Jay Taylor, 5'8", freshman, and he's picking up six. So second and four, here is Jennings. Quick throw to the right side, he's got the bigger brother this time, Jamal Taylor, and that's a gain of 20 and a first down. So first and 10, handoff to the right side here is Tyler Nevins. He's getting to the outside, and Tyler Nevins, I'm looking to get him the ball a lot more because we're going to need that running attack, especially to kind of mask the things that, you know, Drayvon Jennings doesn't do well. We kind of forced rolls with him, and there he throws a nice laser across the middle. That's a gain of 25. So now third and one, handoff to Tyler Nevins. He's got some room to the right side, gets up field two, and he picks up a gain of five. So now we get it to a first and goal. Wide open, Wolf on the whip route. He gets smacked there at the one yard line. But we're set up here as we try to run the option to the left side. A keeper here to Jennings, and that's gonna be a stop by this Tennessee defense, making it a third and goal. Handoff up the middle here is Tyler Nevins, but he's gonna sneak in. He's got five carries, 23 yards, and a touchdown. And that's the way you wanna start off this game. We tie it up. So on the next drive here is Chandler. They're continuing this running attack, and they're picking up a big gain of 20. And we got to get this offense off the field. They are running all over us. So first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Another option, and look at this hole wide open. He's got one man to beat, but Trey Webb takes him down, and he's got 70 yards rushing already. <clears throat> so first and 10 here to the right side here is another option but it's a tackle in the backfield Andre Armstead so third and 13 here is Guarantano gonna throw across the middle and Bruh. somehow completes it to Palmer and that's gonna be a first down how did how did Isaac Tagia let that get past them and th then not make the tackle so we give up a bonehead first down so a couple plays later here on a third and three here's Guarantano a clean pocket he's throwing this one away though avoiding the sack and that's good coverage and we get them to settle for the field goal 
So now coming back out on the next drive, here is Jennings back out onto the field, the true freshman. Quick throw out to the sideline, and that's caught by Billy Humphreys. He's got a foot in bounds. So third and one, handoff up the middle. There's Tyler Nevins, the senior, and he's picking up seven yards and a first. So now at the 41-yard line, another handoff to Nevins this time. He's got an open hole, and he's picking up a gain of nine. He's running the ball well, and our offensive line is blocking pretty well for him as well. So now second and one, toss out to the left side. That's a perfect lob by the freshman to Carl Wolf, the sophomore, and he's picking up a gain of 15. So first and 10, Carl Wolf open again. He's picking up another first down. That's a gain of 12. And now we are in the field goal range. So first and 10, running the stick and nod here is Jennings throwing across the middle. He finds Billy Humphreys inside the five yard line, 19 on that one. So first and goal here at the four yard line. Here is Jennings. He's gonna try to throw the ball, but he's taking a sack. And that's a loss of 11 tackled by Kingston Harris. He had some speed at that D-line position. So now second and goal. Here is Drayvon Jennings scrambling out to the right side. He's going to pick up a lot of room back, and he gets a gain of nine. So now third and goal. Another snap to, from the shotgun. He's going to dump it off to Tyler Nevins, and he gets smacked on that one. And he's not going anywhere. That's a big hit. And now we tie this game up at 10. So first and 10 on the next drive. Three minutes left here in the second quarter. Here is Chandler getting the handoff up the middle. That's a gain of five as they've just been handing the ball off to this guy. Another handoff, gain of four up the middle. So third and one, another handoff up the middle. The same exact play, three plays in a row, and that's a gain of seven and a first down. So now from this uh, pistol formation here is another handoff to Jordan. This time he's breaking a few tackles. And he's picking up a gain of 14. We just cannot stop this run. We're trying everything. Run blitz, man blitz. And here's another carry to the outside. And Chandler picks up another 15-yarder. And that's a first down. He's over 120 yards. So now here, handoff up the middle. This time we finally get a stop. And we get it to a third and goal. Guarantano from the shotgun. Going to throw the screen pass out to the left side. But this time we're going to be all around Chandler. He's not going anywhere on that. And we get them to settle for the field goal. So now a minute and a half left in this first half. Screen pass out to Tyron Evans. Picks up one block. Picks up another. And he picks up a gain of 18. And that is going to be a big first down as we try to get some points on the board before half. So first and 10, counter play to the left side. Here's Tyler Nevin spinning off a defender, and he's picking up nine as he crosses the 50-yard line. So third and one, 50 seconds left here in the first half. Throw to the right side. That's picked off by Shamberger as, wow, we had an open man on the sideline, and Drayvon Jennings comes up with the big hit after that interception. It's a turnover, but take a look at that hit. Drayvon Jennings puts on the defender. And he's going to think twice before trying to get past Jennings. So now here is Tennessee. 30 seconds left in the first half. Throw deep on the first play. And he's got Tillman. And he's in for the touchdown. 38 yards. As that was actually some pretty bad defense on that. I don't know what happened on the outside. But Nehemiah Shelton allows him to get past for the touchdown. So now 30 seconds left. Can we put together some points? As we now are down by two scores, but here's a nice start. Trey Walker, 16 yards. So first and 10. Another play to the outside here is Drayvon Jennings. Wide open is Matt Pollard, and he's going to catch that one. And that's another big gain of about 20. So third and 10. A couple plays later here, just trying to get closer to a field goal. And we do just that, getting to the 24. So we do line up. Two kick the easy field goal before half, and that one's going to be up, but it's going to be off the crossbar. So, wow. Look at this. We drive down into field goal range. We throw a interception, and then we miss the field goal before half. So that takes us into halftime down by 10. We got to come back. So now to start the second half, we do start out with the ball down by two scores. Handoff to Tyler Nevins to start out the half, and he's picking up a gain of 11 as he picks up the first down. He's at 70 yards rushing. 
quick throw across the middle. There's Trey Walker. He's got a lot of room, and he's getting past the 50-yard line. That's a 30-yard quick strike from Drayvon Jennings. So now second and nine. Here is Drayvon running out to the right side. He's got an open man on the sideline again, and that's Matt Pollard. And he's showing a little bit of speed getting inside the five-yard line, 34 yards on that toss. So first and goal, running uh, the running back in motion, but there is J Jay Taylor getting into the end zone, and that was only five plays, and we're in for the touchdown. And just like that, it's a three-point game. So now only a minute ran off from that drive, and here is Tim Jordan starting out the next drive with a carry up the middle. That's a gain of seven. So second and three, quick throw across it. the middle. That's picked off by Jonathan Leonard, and he's going to try to take this one back, and he puts on an epic juke move as he makes his way in to the end zone take another look as wow look at jonathan leonard making two guys look foolish and look at this he takes out his quarterback and the quarterback goes flying as wow i've never seen a juke that nasty to make somebody go airborne like that and just like that we take the lead to start out the second half, and our defense is fired up. There is Michael Cummings on the tackle for loss. So third and 12, here is Guarantano throwing across the middle. He's gonna find Tillman, he gets tossed in front of the first down marker and picks it up. So now second and eight, here's Guarantano after the first down throw, another throw to the sideline. He's finding Josh Palmer, who's been his favorite target this game. So now here is Chandler on the run up the middle. They love to run this pistol run up the middle and that's gonna be a three yard carry. So now third and seven, here's Guarantano running the screen pass, but this time Michael Cummings is having none of that. He's got eight tackles and a set. Look at how quick he is in the backfield. I mean, that is just great get off by the freshman. So now here uh, after the punt, here on a second and 10, here is Jennings throwing across the middle. He's finding Raheem Okusi. The red shirt freshman there for the 10 yard reception. So first and 10, here's a quick throw to the left side. The middle screen this time and there's Matt Pollard. He's picking up 10 yards on that one and he's got 69 yards receiving up to this point. So now here's Jennings scrambling out to the right side, picking up a block there from Billy Humphreys and then getting hit on the sideline. But that's a gain of 15 and another first down. So now at the 32-yard line, Drayvon Jennings scrambling out to the right side. Going to throw that way. He's going to find Carl Wolf, the walk-on freshman. And we have a ton of guys on offense. And I had ne never really noticed how many weapons we have. But we have receivers that do everything from Carl Wolf, who's that guy that can just hold on to it in traffic. He can go up and get it if he wants to. And then we have Raheem Akusi coming in as a slot guy. And there is Tyler Nevins bulldozing his way into the end zone for the seven yard carry. Take a look at the power on this run. He drags four guys and gets into the end zone. And just like that, the tide has turned as we are now up 11 here in the third quarter. Here is Ty Chandler. They're continuing this running game as they give it to him there for a gain of three. So Guarantano, third and two, quick throw across the middle. He's finding Palmer again. And that's 11 yards as he's not aired the ball out deep besides that one deep pass before half. He hasn't really thrown the ball deep. So now here, another option to the left side. And it seems like these guys can't do anything else. I mean, they're just running this option. So now third and two, handoff up the middle. Here is Chandler. He's picking up a gain of eight, but he's just so tough to stop. Why go away from this run game if it just keeps working? But here on this play, it's not going to work. That's Terrence Miller in for the three-yard loss. And that's going to be a third and eight a couple plays later. Another handoff up the middle this time with Jordan. But this time, our defensive line is going to be there, led by Cameron Alexander. So now we get it to a fourth and seven. Here's Guarantano. Throw out to the left side. He's got an open tight end that time, Austin Pope. 15 yards and a first down. So now... They are set up inside the 10-yard line here on a second and five. Here's Guarantano. Going to have Audi to throw, go throw to the outside. That's going to be a touchdown by Josh Johnson, but take another look. His foot isn't down in bounds, so they end up reversing it. So now we get him to a third and five. Here's Guarantano. Another clean pocket this time. Trying to scramble out, but he's going to get swallowed up by this defensive line. Terrence Miller gets credited with the sack, 
And now we get him to a fourth and six. So snap, fourth and six, throw out to the right side. There's Pope again, and that wasn't even close. Eight yards, and he's wide open. So now they do line up to go 4-2 on this one. Down by five, trying to make it a three-point game. Here's Guarantano. He's trying to scramble, but another sack by Terrence Miller. And that is going to give us the five-point lead here with four and a half minutes left in this game. Starting out the next drive, dumping it off to Billy Humphreys for a five-yard gain, followed up by a handoff up the middle to Tyler Nevins. He's making his way to the first down marker. That's a gain of seven. So three and a half minutes left now. Here is Drayvon Jennings scrambling out to the left side, faces some pressure up the middle. He gets outside of the pocket. He's going to dive for the first, and he's getting there. That's a gain of 12 by the 6'6 quarterback. So here on a first and 10, jet sweep this time to Jamal Taylor. He's getting to the outside and getting tripped up, but not before he picks up 10 as we're moving the ball on this drive. So now here, another handoff this time, keeping the ball on the ground. Tyler Nevins getting hit on that one, but picking up a gain of nine as he's closing in on 100 yards. So now second and one, handoff up the middle, breaking his way up, and he is getting over 100 yards with this carry here on a third and one. Handoff up the middle. He's picking up the first, and that's barely a first down as he gets three yards on that one as we eventually get them to use their last timeout and just for good measure, no sportsmanship for the CPU. That's two yards out and a touchdown, and that one seals this game up. As this was a tough game, Tennessee was running the ball all over us, but we did our thing. We finally showed up when it mattered most down the stretch. Drayvon Jennings didn't throw any touchdown passes in this one, and he had an interception, but we definitely depended on the run game, something we haven't been able to do in the first four games, but now in this game, we finally decide to run the ball. Tyler Nevins goes over 100. He has a big game, and our defense definitely balled out, led by Michael Cummings. Look at that. He had a sack and 10 tackles, nine solo, two tackles for loss. He definitely gets player of the game in my book. I definitely think that Jonathan Leonard, the senior with that epic juke move, he also should get it as well. I'm still waiting for Andre Armstead. I, he's getting the tackles. I see the tackles, but I just need that pass rush. It's been different this year. I haven't had the pass rush. I've been had to, I've had to kind of play some better zone coverage in defense because we can't play man yet, and we're not getting the pressure that we need. We got some pressure this game, which I was kind of proud of. You know, it takes baby steps to get to where you want to be, especially with a young team like us on defense. We have the defensive backs who are the leaders. Trey Webb and Jonathan Leonard, but besides that, we're pretty young up front. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. We're coming back for the next episode, so stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.